Good evening, my fellow SAP students. What I wanted to discuss with you tonight is the different account types that um, the SAP associate would be putting into uh, the system when he was setting up a new system. Uh, the first account type that you're going to come across is this little, just a little uh, plus sign. That plus sign is its left in SAP. That means it will accept any account. So that's just like a catch-all uh, phrase. And so if you uh, are setting up an SAP system and you want it to accept any account, then you put that glyph. And you would use that glyph in the open and closing periods um, routine that uh, you would be performing when you were setting up a new account. The different account, account types that you would set up in the routine defined document types are A, D, K, M, or S. Now A means it's an asset account. D means it's a customer account. And I think that is because um, that stands for debtor, because a debtor is somebody that owes you money. K is a vendor account, and um, what that stands for is, I believe it stands for creditor, and because uh, SAP uh, is a German company, they use German languages when they uh, design the software, and although I haven't looked it up, I believe that the K would be creditor, and that's just my humble opinion. Maybe one day I'll look it up in the German dictionary and see if I'm right. M would be for material, and S would be for a GL account or a general ledger account. And I don't know what the S stands for, but I'm sure that it's something German. It's an acronym for something German. Because basically what happened was when they developed the SAP system, uh, they didn't, because it was developed in Germany, they developed it with German terminology. And so although the graphical user interface that the end user uses and the consultant uses may very well be written in English, uh, the, the bulk, the actual data itself, the names that they cause the data still have German names because SAP is a German company. So that's the bulk of what you need to know about the different account types in SAP FICO. When you go to the defined document types routine, you would set your accounts up to be A, D, K, M, or S, or all of them, or just a few. And then when you go into open and closing post opening and closing periods, uh, if you wanted to be able to accept any account type, then you would use the little plus sign to accept any account type. So I hope you've got something out of this video, and good evening.